A common question type in the IELTS reading test is true, false, not given. With this question type, you need to read a statement and then compare it to the information given in the text. You then have to decide if the information is the same as given in the text, that's true, does not agree with the text, that's false, or if there is no information in the text about this, that's not given. Let's look at an example of this task now. Always remember to check the instructions first. You're going to see if these statements match the information that is given in the reading passage. Once you decide on your answers, you're going to write true, false or not given in the correct place on the answer sheet. Now look at the questions. You need to read the statement and then look for this information in the text. Let's try to do question one. So, we're looking for information about personality tests in the 1950s and whether the answers were either right or wrong. So, I guess they were very black and white. You couldn't answer maybe or I don't know. Let's try to remember that when we read the text. So now let's try to find the information about personality tests. This is the first paragraph. Now because this is question number one, you would expect to find the answer somewhere near the beginning of the text. So the first thing we spot is one of our key phrases from the question, personality tests, followed by the date, the 1950s. Next, we can see something about the type of question and the type of answers that these tests featured. So now we can go back to the question and compare it with the text in more detail. The statement says that the answers were either right or wrong, but the text says that the answers could not be interpreted in that way. So we can say that the answer is false because this statement does not agree with the information given in the text. So the answer is false because the statement contradicts the information in the text. I'd just like to give you a few more tips about this format. Firstly, true false not given questions test your understanding of information in the text. So you shouldn't answer based on your own opinions or knowledge of the topic. Next, as I mentioned earlier, answers to the questions will be found in order in the text. And there can only be one answer for each statement. So now that I've described how to do true, false, not given questions to you, why don't you take some time to read over this summary? I should point out that this is one way to do this task which we think is effective, but it is not the only way. After that, I'm sure you're ready to do some practice to help you build some more skills around answering these questions.